how was it the Lord Jesus as man was actually experientially as perfect as his Father in heaven? For only one reason. He took every step in an attitude of utter dependence upon his Father. Without my Father, said he, I can do nothing. Well, how perfect will you be now that the Lord Jesus, who is perfect, lives in you? He, as perfect in you as God, as the Father was perfect in him as God, how perfect will you be? Having redeemed us by what he did, he rose again from the dead to come in the person of the Holy Spirit to share his life with us, as the only one who's capable of satisfying in us his own demands to live in you, share his life with you, and communicate that life through you. And all you have to do, if you want him so to do, is let him. Taking every step in dependence upon the one who through his Holy Spirit now shares his life with you. For the Christian life is the life that he lived then, lived now by him in you. And that's the normal Christian life. There's nothing hectic about it. It isn't group therapy. It isn't touch and feel. You're not looking for some ecstatic experience. You're just enjoying Christ. In the most leisurely fashion. May keep you busy, but you'll still be leisurely. Because you can relax into the adequacy of somebody who's always big enough for the job. So get up every morning excitedly and say, Lord Jesus, haven't a clue what you've got in mind for today, but it's going to be exciting placing myself at your disposal to see you accomplishing through me your eternal end.